LeBron, um, just what what was going in uh, for you into this game tonight after not being able to play last night, and and uh, just what what went into it in the fourth and and overtime tonight. Uh, I mean, obviously, I love the game of basketball and just you know having the game taken away from you. You know, it's you know frustration and, and eager to get back on the floor and uh, you know happy to you know to be back in the lineup with my guys tonight and just try to make some plays. Um, in the fourth quarter and overtime, you know, it's winning time. I understand my teammates are going to be looking at me to make plays. Um, I had the ball out of my hands, so I just tried to come home for them. Bob, I got a couple for you. When you missed some time earlier in the year, you uh, tweeted about, like, missing the game, and then you came out and had certainly um, a s extra fervor to your game, it looked like. And then tonight, obviously, one trip a season while you're playing the Western Conference to play Mad Square Garden. You missed that out, uh, missed that opportunity, and then you know you break out, you know, a celebration we haven't seen you do in years since Miami. You do the the Sam Cassell thing. Was there a, a sense of of I don't know joy or whatever that you were kind of portraying out there? Absolutely. I mean, it's um, you know playing a game. I played a game with a lot of joy, a lot of passion. Um, you know, just excitement um, to be able to play the game at this level still. You know, um, in my career and. Um, and, and to know that my teammates look for me to lead them, you know, I take that with a lot of responsibility. So, um, you know, that's just a, a byproduct of it. You know, had a lot of Laker fans here. Uh, a lot of people uh, came to see us play, came to see me play, and I just tried to make plays for them. So what um, what happened with you and Isaiah Stewart, and what was your reaction to the league suspending you? Uh, well, what happened is, uh, you know, there was a box, block, uh, box out on the free throw line. His elbow got kind of high, got me, if you look, watch the film, it got me off balance a little bit. And his elbow lifted my arm um, here. And I basically tried to swim, move, swim down on him, um, on his arm. And when I swung down on his arm, he got off balance. And the left side of my hand, um, you know, grazed his face. And I knew right away. So. Um, I knew right away I had caught some part of his head, so um, I went over to apologize to him. And obviously, um, you guys seen what happened after that. But um, definitely um, accidental. Um, I mean, sh just like the you know the play last night on Russ, accidental hit in the mouth, just like Sabonis play tonight. You know, accidental hit to the eye. You know, um, you know definitely I'm not that type of player. So um, you know I hate to see that um, what, what escalated after that and. Um, I didn't think it, it warned. Um, um, I thought it warned an ejection because of them, of what happened after that. You know, uh, having me probably still in the game and the excitement from the fans and what could possibly happen after that. Obviously, but a suspension. I didn't think it was. Um, I didn't think it was warranted. But the league made that call, and, and uh, we're here today. <clears throat> just, just to quickly follow on that, um, have you? Been able to talk to Isaiah or uh, no? LeBron, how important was it for you to make sure you guys finished this trip the right way with the win? It was very important, um, you know. And we got another big blow this morning when uh, you know it was uh, you know AD didn't make the team meeting. You know, there was doubt doubtful that he would probably be able to play because he's been you know uh, dealing with the I guess the flu bug and um, so. You know, just like a, you know, kind of like when it rains, it pours moment for our ball club, just not being able to get healthy. Um, but I knew I, I was excited about, you know, me being in the lineup and, you know, and coming off a of back to back, you know, me not playing last night. <clears throat> Excuse me, I knew I can, you know, give our guys a boost of energy, um, you know, with me not being in the lineup yesterday. LeBron, just thinking back to the last couple of years, obviously it's a lot different, right? What you guys are trying to run and all, all the different personnel. Just wondering if you're starting to see the some shell, like some stuff that you can build out of and, and envision where this team uh, needs to get to. Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, I think we can. Uh, you know, we can send some of the things that we can that we can do. I think there was a couple lineups out there tonight that really worked for us. Um, that's going to, I believe, will work for us in the future. In the immediate future, um, you know, we will continue to build off that. But you know, just getting, getting healthy is the most important thing in our league. And you know, and for us, we haven't had a full uh, group, you know, yet. You know, we're still missing two of our big key acquisitions in off season in K9 and TA. And you know, we're looking forward to getting them back whenever you know they can return. But in the meantime, 
Um, you know, we have some, you know, gigantic contributions tonight. Uh, you know, uh, Malik was fantastic. Mello was great. Um, you know, Dwight was great in his minutes. Um, and Weezy, you know, he got it going from the three-point Wayne. Sorry. So you got it. <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, and Wayne got it going from the uh, and, uh, from the three point line, and that was, you know, fantastic to get him going. So, um, you know, big time. I have two more questions. Last LeBron, what can you share about that interaction with the fan? What they did, or what what was uncomfortable for you? I mean, nothing is uncomfortable for me, but you know, it's the difference between. Cheering on your 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 home faithful, you know, booing opponents and things of that nature, or not wanting your opponents to be successful, and then there's you know moments where it goes outside the line with obscene gestures and words that um, shouldn't be tolerated in our game from nobody. Um, I would never say it to a fan, and a fan should never say it to a player. Um, so that's it. LeBron, what do you make of Chris Duarte? Hit a huge shot in the corner. Um, and he was saying just a few minutes ago that it was surreal to even play against you and Melo and other people that he looked up to as a kid. Um, uh, he's a, uh, I mean, he's a rookie in the sense of he just got drafted, but the kid is uh, obviously uh, beyond his years, just some of his experience and also being a play international ball. You know, that's definitely given him an advantage. Um, you know, we had a, I think we had a 22 pick. Did we had a 22 pick this year in the draft, and we worked him out at our at our facility, and he didn't miss a shot. And uh, I was like, "Ain't no way in hell we getting this kid." So uh, <laughs> um, he's big time. Very, you know, very poised. Uh, great shot. Great, um, you know, just plays like, uh, you know, the 24 year old young man that he is. I'm 24, right? Yeah. So. It makes sense. He's um, Andy got a good one.